Welcome back to more Jade Dragon Yon Bow Immortal Empires action for Total War Warhammer 3 Shadows of Change. The Jade Dragon. They have not hit the float. They've called my bluff with me going, I'm not going to invest any money in this. And they're like, yeah, okay, cool. Master of the Meteor Wind. I bet when I start building up now. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to go take this, but I don't know. That's the provincial capital, isn't it? There's going to be Skaven in here. So much to do. Is there Skaven here? I mean, it's Lustria, so there's a good chance of Skaven. Colonization cost. Let's do it. There's Skaven. Of course there's Skaven. Um, provincial capital with Skaven in it. That could be pretty tough for me to take. I'm going to regret this, but Twitch chat. Do we declare war or do we cancel? <laughs> I'll let you guys decide. Thank you, Twitch, for saying declare war. I mean, it's massively in my favor. They're at war with the Hunts Marshal. It's going to make the Hunts Marshal like me. No, no. Pyrrhic victory. High casualties. Oh. I mean, I've got to go in, haven't I? I've got to go in and try and fight this. If the Orcs then turn up, I'm, I'm in a tight spot. But here we go. Eep. Do I know the reason why your bow's in Lustria? Well, it looks like he he's after the... Uh, four secret points on the Wuxing compass and they have placed them at least on immortal empires over in Lustria so that's why he's over here he's got to build these um, uh, astromantic relays to unlock those additional points on the compass so that's kind of his story okay this please be the map where there is still that point unless they patched it no it's over here there's only that one tower. So this is where we're going to sit up. Wonderful. I mean, I do have quite a lot of archers. They're going to have... I mean, I'm just going to have to go straight over the walls in dragon form. And bring them down. I am actually going to yeah, keep you guys all the way back here to start with. I can use all my flyers actually together. It is not merely by my birthright that I rule, but my diligence, capability, and force of arms. I trust none other than you, the chosen of Cathay, to stand by my side against these foes. Got some jade on your blade there, mate. Just like giving that speech at the start, doesn't he? Is that power activated? That one is. Dragon time. Shenron! <laughs> it's really hard not to get some Dragon Ball Z vibes. Flank round. Hijacking the geomantic web, maybe. Maybe that's kind of part of the plan. And yeah, this will be on YouTube um, tomorrow. The first episode will be out tomorrow, Friday. Second episode out uh, Sunday. And third episode out on Monday. And probably next week you'll have daily uploads of this campaign, I'd have thought. You're running away from me, aren't you? But if that's happening, I mean, let's try and put, force them to come to the walls by moving you guys forwards, because then I can use my flyers to harass. I mean, I can probably go for the Skaven Slave Slingers over there a bit. That tower's still active, because I think they've got, like, one dude. No, now it's not active. What I wouldn't give for a pit of shades right now. No idea if they've made changes to major or minor sieges because I haven't seen the patch notes. Other than like yeah, other than what I experience right now, I don't really know. Get you guys out, so you're gonna get stuck there. There we go. 
disengage nicely. Flank on round over here. Meanwhile, it's giving me time to go forward with these guys. I'm going to send the Jade Lion to attack the gate because I reckon that'll be pretty decent. I'm push them all off the walls right now with my dragon. I mean, they're Skaven, so in you go, dragon time. Keep them busy. Ooh. Try and harass their missile units a little bit. And then bring you guys over to hit the missile units as well. And in the meantime, you guys go forward. Forward we go. Oh, yeah, good. You've got that one. Nice. Yeah, keep them all locked in. And drop in some Searing Doom. That'll do nicely. I think I'm going to turn you back into Lord Mode now. Because you can zip around. Try and lock them down a bit. Hit the clan rats. Get out of that. Go after the Master Assassin. Need to keep moving up with you guys so we get the bonus. Gates are open. In you go. Keep cycle charging in. Blast him with that, with the smaller one. I think that's what you guys need right now. Go get him. Bring the archers in. Oh, you got Skaven slaves at the gate. Stick around. Get him out. Try not to lose the Croman. some of that. Should be able to bring the archers in here. Yeah, Croman. Oh, they've taken flight. Good. They're broken. That's fine. Okay, 
I'm going to do with you guys so I don't lose you is just send you all the way up there. Keep going. Spy master. Hold. Don't have any more winds and magic. We dive on in. Got the harmony modifier going, mate. You can still use it, can't you? That's the, I was just thinking, what's the what's the like? Why would you have more use of it? If I use it on him right now, it would just do that damage. I think between three hundred sixty six to seven hundred and thirty two. I think for two seconds, it just won't execute if he's he's not below twenty. It will still do some pretty big damage. Yeah, they're all about to go. Go, go, go. Got the assassin. Him, but it'll deal massive damage. Yeah, so if you have multiple use, then you could then follow up with the execute. So it's a good way of nuking down. It's a good cooldown to it, but yeah, good way of bringing them down quickly. There we go. Job done. We did it. Turn it from Pyrrhic. Good number of kills. 166 on the uh, Jade Lion there. And even, even the Onyx Crewman, actually, 100 kills. Not bad. 192, 196 rather with the uh, Jade Warriors. 245 with uh, John Bow though. Good stuff. And out of 10, we'd unleash Jade Dragon again. Silly ratties. And yeah, we will occupy. What have you got in here? Yeah. Some nice gold, but it's not actually what I want. I want growth here, so get rid of that. Oh, we've got the Empress Chroman. Oh, no. And Clan Mage just, uh, Mage destroyed, just like that. Lovely. All right, let's get some Chroman in here. What's their stat differences? Slightly more leadership, more melee attack, more defense, and uh, I don't know, it's all less. Did 
They do have... Oh, Nangal grenades. That's why. <laughs> They're weaker, but they've got Nangal, Nangal grenades. They've also got Eyes of the Empress, although you guys have that as well. They've got a better charge bonus, though. This is 40. Whereas this is only 20. Pretty decent. Right, yeah. Get them in. More warriors mean fewer farmers. And get me... Yeah, that. Just build up the army as is. Uh, I'm not going to build... I'm still not going to build that up because I don't want to waste 1,000 gold only for it to be attacked straight away. Kind of wondering if that's the reason why the orcs aren't attacking it. Who else are they at war with? Bloodhall Coven. Well, that's through me they'd have to get down to. So... Hexos only got two regions. So yeah, definitely probably want to go for that sooner or than later. Oh, here we go. So the Astromantic Relay, that's what we can build there, as well as the Stellar Pyramids of Southern Skies. Uh, a ritual to activate this dormant direction of the Wuxing Compass will begin upon completion, allowing additional Cathay-wide powers. Uh, enemy forces who take umbrage to your presence here will oppose you with hostility upon building completion so i'm guessing lizard men aren't gonna be happy with it yep sounds about right you any quick care. deals ah you guys actually want non-aggression right now uh, i'm thinking more That's trade ah here monster we go monster hunter monster hunter the expedition will hear you We'll have trade right now. I'm not going to say non-aggression because I honestly don't know if, if I will have to munch you up later on. But uh, let's just uh, okay. do that because having trade gives me vision over your regions. Child of the nine. And same, you're at war with the Jingshar rebels right now. I mean, I might want to get in on that action as well myself to complete that province. So I bid you welcome. do that. But again, not going to commit to non-aggression just yet. May you live long. And G U. Leader of men. J custodians. We can Eastern River Lords and get lots of trade opening up. Nice. Instrument of the Let us stumble through diplomacy together. I understand. Wind shaper. No, you won't do it right now because what I've got. A few other bits. Did I throw money at you? Um, but only 62 trade income? No, I'm not going to throw you that. I mean, I could threaten you, but... Good. Enforce Confederation through all of them. Not yet. Mainly be you and your sister if I try to. I might add the Recruit Defeat Legendary Lords mod. Just to get them at some point, but we'll see. Darkness comes. Cool. Thanks for the trade. Uh, penny token, still got one. So we still got to wait another, what, five turns, right? That's gone. Fly lines. Movement range plus 20%. Enables replenishment of foreign territory, ammunition, diplomatic deadlock. Immune to diplomatic penalties from trespassing. Okay. Cool. Celestial General. What happened to your growth? It was only five turns a minute ago. Oh, level of control. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Uh, but we should be sorting Attention. that with the recruits that we're we're getting here. Military Servant presence, I'm assuming, is helping out a little bit. Yeah. But we're still of the celestial host. face the rebellion in 15 turns. Um, in all but I don't want to start attacking you guys just yet. My privilege. That one there, that is the Phoenix Temple. Interesting. And you got a forest over here, don't you?
Grand Cafe Canal. It is acceptable. So be it. General. You dare. Yeah, I'm just kind of keep an eye on that and then look for an opportune moment to strike, I think. Serve from the front. I am going to give you a few more units. An executioner. Okay. Let's get some more spells. Oh, I can get the net. Time the net with the Comet of Cassandora. Very nice. Power of Yin. Triggers when casting. Roiling Skies. Jade Shield, cooldown, and upgrade. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Blossom some wind a wind spell would be nice but i also kind of want judge for another use of the emperor's execution mm, 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 yeah, let's go for the wind though i am too a tool and i'm going to go for Kenneth's golden hounds Time is lacking. Right. In the turn. New Lord for Cathay is the um, Celestial General. There are no new heroes for them. Oh, the landmark in Shangwu. I'll show it again in a minute. This caravan is seriously getting all the units. I don't know if I'm just surprised by this, but this is normal for Cathayan caravans or if I'm just so used to only getting like one or two events for military convoys with Chaos Dwarves. Um, we've got a lot of infantry. Jade Warriors plus three more of them wouldn't be terrible, but Streltsy are pretty nice. Let's get the Lost Rangers. You've gained another point already. Um, yeah, now get that. Keeper of Wuxing. So I could give you that straight away, couldn't I? But I probably also want growth. So do that. Eye of the Emperor. Oh, you still got. Oh, did you not get that one last turn? I cancel that. Adhere to all assigned rotors. Very well. Marcus Wolfhart. I don't want to know who his voice actor is because uh, his voice is gorgeous. Yeah, and how strong were they, actually? Really weak. So I wonder what happened to their army. I saw that other one going around. Dragon. Dragon. I'm going to go straight in and take this. Occupy. Nice. Oh, no place like home. Uh, here we go. The winds of magic gather, blowing through Lustria with an intensity that once harnessed will expand the reach and power uh, the Jade Compass exponentially. Yet, the expedition to the continent has left the defences in Cathay spread far too thin. A vampiric menace looms over Shangwu like a shadow. The undead scourge could strike at any moment, and without proper protections, the region may fall to their greed and malice. Perhaps it would be wise to hand over rulership of the city to a trusty custodian, rather than attempting to fight the enemy on two fronts. So we can give up Shangwu for 20,000 gold, or we can keep it and focus on the expedition um, with that gold. Um, or we can keep hold of it. I'm going to keep hold of it. Nobody else can be trusted to protect Shangwu. Give me the challenge. Because, yeah, you start off with the in the Isle of the Crimson Skull over in Illustria. Maintain control of two provinces, either by direct ownership or through vassals and military allies. Cool, 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 cool. Nope. Use an action within matters of state. Nice. Zorn. Oh, it's going to be our caravan, isn't it? There it is. Lord Magistrate, 
Warty. You old colony discovered. Hi. Right, the landmark in Changwu for those that wanna see it. Servant of the dragons. Palace of Scrolls. So, is that potentially making these guys about to declare war on me or some kind of vampire incursion? Burst among now that I've chosen to hold on to it. Perhaps. So we probably should try and just keep building up my peasant spam. Because until I can get this, until I can get the growth going, that, that's all I can do. That's yeah, all I can do. Oh, hang on. Isn't there a compass point? Yeah, that helps reduce corruption. Oh, there we go. So yeah, I was just wondering if Cathayan meant only territories within Cathay or whether it also included Cathay territories outside and it says here. So it all benefits to all regions within Cathay and all regions owned by Cathayan factions outside its borders. So that's pretty cool. Longchang Basin. Growth. Yeah, we need more of that energy reserve. Warpstone Desert. Through me. Okay, I am gonna go get go for judge. Yeah. Fit for a prince. I've got iron resource available here. Floating pyramid. I'm gonna finally commit to doing that for you. We're getting some decent income. We've got the whole province, so we can go for a commandment. Sea dragons edict for income from trade tariffs. Recruitment cost. Uh, corruption reduction. We've got no corruption here yet. Research rates or control. Um, what was it we also gained more research rate for? Each provincial capital is plus 5%. I, mean, I don't desperately need the money right now. Um, we're going to do more recruitment. So let's switch to that. The Emperor's Architect. Another three turns until that switches. Oh yeah, I wanted to go grab that, didn't I? The sea corpse. Uh, mission issued. Gain a moderate income. Okay, thanks. Back to story. The cross clubs. Moon howlers. Technology research. Season trackers. Cool, that was our first bit of tech, wasn't it? So we can now go for drill training. Hardened Bamboo uh, or Fletching Mentors. Um, I'm going to go for some Hardened Bamboo right now. Although, where does that take me through here? Corruption All Provinces. That's not terrible. Melee Attack when attacking. Harmonic Balance Yin. Plus four, but that doesn't... Yeah, so I think that's kind of... I'm assuming, is this the same tech tree for all Cathay? Does this look familiar if you've played Cathay recently? Because, like, right of Yang... Give you some upkeep cost for Yang units, but I'm pretty sure like wasn't this one like a permanent like plus one modifier the other way when you had global Welcome, harmony to manage as well as one of your mechanics, whereas um John Bo just has his uh stone and steel mechanic as well as his um compass stuff to go after, so he doesn't have a global one, but he still has it on a provincial level. It's down here. Yang's more useful for like recruiting and military stuff and research, whereas Yin focus is good for construction, growth, and control. And if you have the harmony, it's income and upkeep cost reduction. Probably early, actually. I want to go Yin rather than Yang. I probably should have gone for the uh, the growth that way, just to swing it. Just one step that way for even more growth. In fact, let's switch that over. Let's switch okay. that over. Oh, you're still too short. It's not like a massive garrison. Master of the meteor winds. Let's go here. For your there we go. We can see their army. I of whooshing. might as well get a full stack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, the five, six. Sorcerers trouble me. Yeah. 
Celestial host. Okay, you're actually gaining public order now. Good. I concur. Wonder how the Bastion's doing already. Leader of men. When's our next one? Rank ten. Race of Kuai Yin, Celestial Dragon Crossbows. Loyal novices are better than uncertain veterans. I don't think I'm gonna create any more for Servant you just yet. The dragons. And yeah, we also realized that switching that over would be better more beneficial for Celestial us. General. Uh, let's just go here. Warriors, sons, with me. Could go through though. We could go through an attack. My garrison isn't that strong, and I don't really want to lose this because the only way to take it back then would be to send a full force. Natural or darkness comes. I mean, they must have. They probably only got one army, right? Attention. And it should just be zombie chaff, so. Let's build up more. Do it. I try out something new. Yeah, you start off with two of the new units already. So you get a good uh, chance to check them out straight from the off. Upgrade any settlements. Okay, we're getting missions like crazy right now. Keepers of Bliss have been destroyed. They were Caravan complete. Oh, hello. Oh, we've got the Angkor chain as well. Nice. Okay, General. yeah, we're going to go ham with this. Even if we go negative, we've got 10k in the bank right now. First among oh, it's because we... Was it because we switched? That's giving us even more growth. Yeah, that's far more beneficial early on. You're building up a little bit, aren't you? Um, I mean, I guess you're going to come over here. Watch out for Gentleman Jenkins. We can upgrade that now. Do it. We are used to hiding in plain sight. Go here and try and catch them as they come across. Or when they move out and away. Okay, so yeah, better sales or cargo capacity. Cargo capacity, please. A worthy addition to my arsenal. So yeah, you'll be returning so I can send out the other one in the meantime. Uh, yeah, go to the Border Princes. This looks like a tasty amount and looks like you go up there. Low threat, low threat, low threat. Then maybe some unpleasantness there. Throw in all the cash. Whoa, 11k. Have fun, guys. My siblings have armies, yes, but I pull the strings of the Celestial Empire. Free boot support royal. That's Gentleman Jenkins, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it be Gentleman Jenkins. Give the lie to Hello, Penglin. You want trade? Yeah, you do. But I see you've not encountered Haggleheart X10 before. Which means we're going to get the best possible deal we can get here. Oop. Ha 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 ha. Thank you. The ancestor. 
It means I'll now have vision over their lands as well. There we go. Oh, my ambush failed. No. We got spotted. That is a lot of savage orcs. Still me crows every time. Well, we get to see the Empress Crowman Regiment Renown in action. They've got some, some Nangal grenades. So we want them all bunched up. Is there anywhere we can force a choke point? No. But they are attacking me, so we will stand our ground and face them. In we go. Start deployment. Hmm. Pull back and hold the top of the high ground here. They're attacking me, so they will come. If only we could pull right up to the top of these steps. <laughs> Or across that rope bridge. Mm, yeah, I might, I might hold up here, then the trees will pop out. Okay, let's go. Along there. Oh, didn't mean to select all of them. Not bad. So. I'll be careful with the Jade line. Right, well, they've all got their harmony modifier. Let's have a look at those regiment renowned ones. Let's just take them out of the uh, forest so we can see them. Yeah, you look, you look fancy. Celestial. Let us show them their hubris in the moments before their deaths. 54 reserve. Cafe with me. Send them to me. We've got two uses of the Emperor's execution, so we should be able to nuke their lord down. Which, considering the range of my archers right now, is something I'm going to try and just throw him into that lord. Just on the edge of the archer range. Early. It's big damage. My pen or sword. Guided by ancestors. Defend around. and warrior. Wait for it. Spin it up. Yeah. 
Get the flyers in. Out. There's a good concentration of them over here. Warriors. Faster of meet your win. Positioning is all. Three, two, one. Bombs away. Nuke him. Back in we go. Dragon time. Nice, they've gone. Perfect timing to go dragon mode. Right. Bring down as many of them as you can. Go, go, go. Beautiful. Long fears. Praise the dragon. Cavalry. The Emperor expects. Ten gangs faithful. Nice. Munch, munch, munch. More of them we could take out right now. Easier it would be to take their settlement because I imagine that's where they'll retreat to. Three, two, one. Lovely. Hi. That went well. I've got 713 remaining. Yeah, the Onyx Chrome are um, getting some zinchy vibes. I mean, in the like trailer, it looks like the changeling jumps out of one of those. All part of the plan, the great scheme. Whatever that might be. And yeah, we're good for cash. And plus with that caravan coming back, we want replenishment to keep on pushing. Jade Amulet, lovely. What's that do? Augments the wind. Even better. The heavier the chain, the easier to near. And we got that item from the uh, caravan as well, didn't we? Oh, there we go. We got our quest. Rank eight already. Five thousand gold to the treasury and armor of the dragon's gaze. 
Nice. Regain positive income. Oh, yeah. Always love that the game gives you this when you, the moment you dip down, it's like, go on, get positive again. I'm in a bit. I'm busy. Construct three buildings that can contribute to harmony. Okay. I mean, they, they all basically contribute to harmony apart from like resource building. So on it, boss. Um, we are going to go for, yeah, give me, give me the net and the power of yin, please. Fit for a prince. What do we actually have to do for that though? That was occupy loot raise attack three different settlements. Keeper. Pretty easy. Like pretty easy. Very easy. Poison. Piercing or fire. Um, base weapon damage plus sixty percent, missile damage plus fifty. Piercing is twenty five, twenty five, twenty five. I'm piercing on everything and magical attacks. What do you reckon on these? I kind of never knew. I, n I never felt like I wanted to go for the poison one, although I guess it's good for like slow. But I always felt it's like either between flaming or piercing. For now, let's just go increase mobility and we'll decide on that another time. Governor, oh, yes, you've done the thing. I can attack you outside the walls and draw you all out. End this. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well. Join us for an orc smash, because if we all resolve it, we'll lose of our units, including our uh, Croman. I don't want that to happen. In we go. So that increased mobility might have just got us there. I think that was pretty much a maximum part of our movement. Yeah, going for fire for all region. I mean, fire for an alchemist in our other army where we're going to be going after vamp um, vampire rebels would make a lot of sense. But I don't think I can get an alchemist over there anytime soon. Unless I sent this alchemist over there, actually, to help out. Could do that. It would still take a good few turns to get that. I don't think it's probably worth it. Disrupting the uh, force. Right, so they're all coming in there. It's just a single lord in his own, so I should be able to rush him, smash him. And then turn to face these guys. Defensible position. In all these jungle maps, there ain't really much. But we probably want to just turn around here and then hold up along the little bit of the ridge line, the rolling hills. So that's what we'll look to do. Yeah, there's their lord. Okay, right. Guided by ancestors. Seeking Cathay's foes. Time does not favor us. Would use the executioner on him, but I'm going to wait him for. I'm going to wait for that one. Come in. Nice! <laughs> oh, look at him go! Oh, he's playing with him! Oh, he just wants to play. <laughs> that was cool. That's a nice little animation in there. Let's get you out. Because it's round two. That was fun. <laughs> Kitty go brr.
Look at them all. We're having a great time. Hawk's just like, I only just got spawned in. I was only just recruited. Come on. Nope. Oh. Accidentally set selected you guys instead of this one. I could execute him, but I'm not gonna. How much health he got left? Not much. Reinforcements are approaching. Nice. He's gone. Right. Right, 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 right. Let's get everybody set up. And then we'll create a little kill box in the trees here with uh, Yombo holding the line. Let's fast forward it a bit. Send them to me. Like, are they just gonna come in and then sit there? No, they they will they will eventually attack. Uh, let me just make sure my swordsmen aren't on the flank. No, they're mixed in. That's good. So is that all cavalry? That'd be terrifying. It's a lot of enemies, sir. It's like, why am I why am I able to put it on the general? Because it's the general's unit. Wait for him to get closer. Here they come. Oh, net's only on a I haven't got the upgraded one where it doesn't area effect. I can't wait till I have that. That'd be great. A better position. Hold the line. Order and balance. Repositioning. Present spearmen. Mind that one. Hold. Hold. I need more of them bunched up for you guys to drop. Because there's so many entities in this, actually. The, this is what makes them really stand out over other bombers. A lot more to drop. Cavalry up. He's going to bring that one down. Okay. Time for a big old wind. Beautiful. Bombard. Artillery needed. Eventually, we'll get artillery. What's, uh, what's Cathay? You've got the fire rain rockets, haven't you, with Cathay? We're going to be all good. Hold the line. You're about to get executed, mate. Do 
Three, two, one. Bye bye. Nice. <laughs> Artillery from the Hunts Marshal. Yeah, actually, that's true. That would actually be pretty decent, actually, for an Empire ally. All the Hellstorms and all the rockets. All right, let's start pushing out with the infantry because we want to try and chase down as many of their units as possible so that it's easier to probably get an order resolve on their settlement. Uh, then just popped in from my Changeling video. Super excited for that series. I'm also super happy to finally catch you live. Welcome! Glad you uh, enjoyed the Changeling. He's been a lot of fun so far. I've not played Zinch before. Other than I think I did like a... Can I do like a first... Like first 10 turns or something like that with the... With Fate Weaver in like a random stream. Um, when we first got access... Early access to Warhammer 3. I never had a... I've not had a chance to kind of go back and do a Fate Weaver campaign. I think actually rapidly Zinch is like probably one of my favorite... Chaos factions, just because the barrier makes your units even tankier. Wind and fire. Yeah, I tried. I tried to do like an opening gameplay of uh, pretty much each of the lords. I don't think I got around to Kugarth though. Maybe I did. I don't know. Again, it feels like but that. I mean, that feels like it was ages ago now. Where's the time gone? Yeah, it might just catch him. I kind of wish you could still turn into a dragon form at the end of battle like this, so you could run down enemies. But potentially also imagine that's why you, you can't do it. Just to... Make it super crazy strong. 